money got to be made. You got police riding around security guards, they hating on the, the illegal in this, but it's got to be done, you know? One way or another. Got to be. I don't think that someone's gonna try to sell me heroin from there, but what if a heroin addict pops out of there and they're trying to rob me? This is what I've, I'm more fearful of, is the repercussions of it. Priscilla Joseph says she recently moved into the bluff, what experts call the heroin capital of the South. As the city has grown, the area has grown, the land. When I moved here, it was less than a million people living in the greater Atlanta area. Today, there's over seven, approximately seven million people living in the area. And so why is that area important? Well, it's important because people used to live here and they don't anymore. But beyond that, uh, it's the birthplace of Martin Luther King. That's where he was born, raised, preached, etc. At the very same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to yeah, yeah. teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, today many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps now, this is what we are faced with and this is a reality now when we come to washington in this campaign we are coming to get our check what it is the day um, Dr. King got assassinated, Grandma kept the newspaper. Yeah, the real newspaper. That's it. It's 1968. My grandma kept that. Well, I'll be. The day don't know. Yeah, you don't even know your grandma history. You ain't never shown me nothing like this. Well, I'll be. Well, you know, a blunt one on it, so it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, she kept it. All those years. 19. You know how old that paper is? That paper is 51 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you still can read it and everything. Yeah, it still looks good. Yeah, my grandma kept all that. Mm -hmm. What the hell is wrong with y'all? That 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 too blunt thing. <laughs> Rifle foul. And the history of the civil rights movement really was born um, and prospered in that area. So we felt the West Side for the population that's there, the population that used to live there, the population that should live there in the future, and for the, the uh, represent the, the kind of unity and diversity that Atlanta has been uh, known for over many, many years, that it was important to commit to the west side as well and to the connectivity um, of the west side and all of those areas uh, to the greater Atlanta area, if you will. Are things getting better? I think undeniably, uh, um, aesthetically, things are improving, but my gosh, there's a lot of work to be done. John Gordon has spent the last decade trying to make life better here, ever since the Atlanta businessman was moved to action by news stories about corrupt cops killing Katherine Johnston inside her home. His nonprofit has helped create two community gardens in places where only drug dealers and weeds once thrived. They've also bought homes to provide for police officers, now trusted by the community. I think there is ample evidence to support the belief that things are on the, on the upswing. You still wouldn't come over here, though, after the sun goes down, would you? I would not. I have been here and left that church at night, and you can hear gunfire. The U.S. Attorney's Office says arrests have dropped nearly 40 percent here since they started the drug market intervention program. They admit some of the drug dealing may just not be as obvious. Where the police station at? They ain't far from here. Man, police station like within 10 steps of here, man, precinct. <laughs> and they probably watching us now, you know. They got all kinds of enforcement, enforcers, you know, snitching and all type of folks telling all type of business that, you know, that shouldn't even be in. But we still got to respect and we got to watch all that type of, you know, negativity, as we call it. 
Do you feel safer? Do you think your kids are safer walking the streets in this area now? I mean, I think it's. I think in some ways it's just it's just shifted or changed. When you're talking about like really changing the trajectory of someone's life, I mean that's going to take a long time. For the future of Vine City, man, really, I would like to run up on that bridge some kind of way if I had to do it legit or. If I had to get it in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Put us a gym or something out here for the young ones, you know? Build some old houses, some, some recreational centers, you know? Hey, hey, Wood, what's the move? Burn it up! Burn it up! But how long will this neighborhood have to wait before it gets to rise up too? Will it always be on the wrong side of the tracks? The poor side of Northside Drive with crushing poverty over here and the cheers of commerce? and an even more opulent playpen for our sports teams over there. Seeing changes there, um, but every societal issue um, that you can think of that area has struggled with uh, from a generational standpoint, from a societal standpoint. We've met with a number of ministers, and they all said the same thing. You know, what we don't need is a lot more structures here. I mean, they love the idea of the stadium and the opportunity for, for job training. But uh, what they what they really wanted was a change in human capital. Gordon remembers what the first dome was supposed to do here. They were promised millions of dollars, uh, and it did not materialize. It's 100 percent, man. You know, we ain't here to talk about that. You know, we have to Arthur Blank's foundation has pledged 15 million dollars here, with millions more coming from other groups. The idea is to attract investment to create new jobs and businesses. Uh, uh, I told somebody I was like, he told him five, I'm not me. Nah, cause you know people try to like they cool just to see yeah. if they can get. Nah, you not gonna get there and play me. This man got his ring. How, he said, I can make you an offer for your home. I said, what's your offer, even though I'm not going to sell it? He said, between $60,000 and $100,000. i am like, you got your goddamn mind if you think. Nigga, I made almost $80,000 a year myself on my job. You got me fucked up if you think you can sell me. I'm going to sell you a property by the Georgia Dome for $60,000, when it's worth $250,000 from what I've been told from a real estate. He screams. Are you related to Curtis Snow? I'm like, what the fuck, Curtis got to do with this? The man's dream. Oh, no, I'm a fan. So you really playing like you want to buy the property just to see if you can get a cousin with Curtis Snow. Then you go, uh, I see the move on this one. Like, how we turning into the movie from you telling me you want to buy the property? Get out of my motherfucking line, man. That shit. Because see, he wasn't able to ever build anything because we wouldn't sell him no property. Because see, all that land back there is grandma's. So that's why when the deal goes, like, I'm getting more than this problem now, because the problem don't got that much. But we got all of that, all of that, all the way down to that fence, bottom pot mints, all that's grandma's. Because she was like, she tell daddy, when y'all was little, the builder, um, that was I can't do it. Room. I want a living room. Middle room and a kitchen. Two, one on each side, one on each side. That's what I want to own. That way, like, you didn't live, get, you go on one side and your brother go on the other side. Y'all can get to know but each other. But you know what, though? I would have turned grandma's house into a rooming house, too. 093. 093. I made oh, the area. 093. I made the area. Now, that's ain't Tina. That's ain't Tina house number. 903. 221, come on. That's what I'm do. Huh? I'm out of turn to a duplex and it's I need to meet a little real estate investor. Both of my children stay on one side. Well, yeah, Larry is the white guy. Got People got think he's funny. A real estate investor. If anybody want to play, real. I'm trying to invest like 30000 If anybody want to play real. a fuck yeah. game, and all my children want to play, baby Curdy, get your head, brother. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm, I'm definitely finna um, eat up my game real. up and start really investing for real. You um, no notes in that on it, so it's free. And the equity, I can take the equity out of it and do something like that. I was thinking about it, but then I might just do it alone. I really didn't want to bother it unless it's not really, really, really need it. But I need to, I need to do an investment. Man, fuck. We ball. You ball, but nigga, you fall to my defense. Catch him while he reaching. Clip you, then I cross you, then I leave him. Apply full court pressure like 4-4 cards. Get you out of here. Pull pressure. 
to the trigger, bullets fly in threes. You forever rest under bullshit, dirt lies and leaves. You're the stain for the brothers, ain't gon' change the numbers. It's the strengthening and the chain among us, please. We ain't afraid of none of you. Who wanted with us? Niggas wanna despise the team.